Hi guys, I hope you are feeling well. I'm Mohammad Javad Paksad and we're gonna talk about the new features and new updates through the latest version of Rhino in version 8. In fact, we're gonna deal with the I mean all of the new features and updates which have been added to the new version of Rhino within multiple videos, so we're not gonna leave a single detail. And know that you can find these videos at your panels and each of them will be show up or shown up at the related sections. And as you can see, today is January 15th, 2024, version 8 SR5. Currently the main version of the uh, Rhino is version 8 and the succeeding version is going to be version 9 that you can get access to it through WIP and as you are concerned there are some released versions or additions for each of the versions or the so-called service release that you can find the bugs and issues solved exactly in the service release and sometimes some details and features are added probably because we are provided with service release 5 for version 8 so I have downloaded it and after having it installed you can see I have launched it and right now I'm going to talk about the interface and also the positionings of the toolbars palettes and stuff like that. The first topic that I'm gonna deal with here um, is that in the versions of 6 and 7 of Rhino we used to close the palettes for maximizing the views but just if we needed them we had to open them again while in Rhino 8 we got two toggles at the right and on the left side of the view or screen that you can click on them for minimizing the palettes or hiding them so then you'll have more space and whenever you needed them you can show them this was the new feature that I wanted to show you here in the at the right side of the view at the right side of the screen you can click on the settings and then we can control the displayment of the panels horizontally vertically Watch this, you can control the displaymments and set them to horizontal or vertical. However, they are shown vertically by default. Again, I want to click on the settings at the right. I click on show panels. Then we can customize the, the items that we want to show them in the panel or in the palette, palette actually. For instance, name views, we uncheck it or for example son we check it in order to show it in the palette again show panel so guys by this way you can customize the pa palette at the right side of your screen however there is another way that i will tell you again i click on settings here we got lock docked containers and as you were concerned previously, we did not have containers, so a new word has been added. After locking the docked containers, they will be fixed. Go and check it again. And let us talk about the left side. Here we got some filters, O snaps, and the filter, and also a sidebar at the left side of the screen. I open Rhino options by this way. Then I open toolbars for controlling the displayment for the standard toolbar. We can check or uncheck group standard toolbar as you can see and also for the sidebars at the left side we got main and this is the main. Then we can expand it in size and styles and we can check sidebar visible and unvisible. Just we can check the checkbox or uncheck it. And let us check other new items. For example, here we got the lock dock windows. As you can see, I check it and then OK. Then all of the dockable windows will be locked. 
again at this part if you want to change the display displayment of the palettes for example floating is for when they are docked at the window for example the top left or right and here as you can see you can specify it both image and text or only text or only image for example for the dot side we set it to both image and text right now you can see the text and the icons of the palettes and the next feature and update is controlling the top size by the slider as you can see you can click and drag like this way uh, we set the dock size to image only and then we can control the tab size check it out we set it to 20 or 21 20 and also we can change the button size check it out and the current version as you can see got higher quality comparing to the previous versions we set it to 24 for the bottom size and about the other features short cord and the appearance is in appearance watch this i expand it and we open color as you can see the dark theme has been added to rhino and also light and uh, custom that you can customize the theme of your personal rhino and as you can see the color of the text have been changed to white and also icons are changed if we hold down shift and then we right click on each of the images then you can see the appearance and these two appearances are provided for the light and dark themes again we open the rhino options we set it to the light theme in appearance here we got show the following items which enables us to control the displayment of these items for instance command line or the command prompt watch this or the menu so if just the command line or the command prompt was not visible you can open rhino options appearance and checking command prompt for just returning it anyway these were the new features and new updates on appearance and the another item which has been added to the rhino 8 is containers i type it and then i start it watch this here in the containers as you can see standard toolbars that you can find it at the top side of the screen and there are some items within a standard toolbar as you can see that you can add some new items or in other words you can customize the containers based on your own needs here we got the toolbars at the top and the panels at the below we can add layout to this container check it out you can select and remove item from the container as well by this way and note that if you have some plugins installed on rhino you can get access to each of them in the libraries menu for instance i have installed paneling tools and we can add the tools of the paneling and you can find the default tools for rhino at default library and we got over snap selection filter and also the right container which is positioned at the right side of the screen layers properties and stuff like that so by this way we can use the containers for the palettes panels libraries management and also managing the tools in rhino meanwhile their displayments